the spectators, you are watching Hi TV, the channel of Epicus Level 42. I'm your host Haiti, and this is episode 7 of my review series, in which I will review all the songs in this year's Eurovision Song Contest. Today we're taking a look at the next four songs in the second semi-final, um, beginning with uh, Greece and their song Alcohol is Free, presented to us by Cosa Mostra Fit Agathon Yakovidis. Again, terribly pronounced. And remember, I'm gonna rate, rate all songs ranging between 4 and 10, with 4 being the worst and 10 being the best. But now, please enjoy the song. <laughs> Um, this song is one of those songs that I'm really not quite sure about what this is supposed to be and how this is supposed to be interpreted. Um, it has really nice and fast beat, which makes like it's really energetic. It keeps keeps you going throughout the evening, uh, and it keeps one interested definitely. Um, it's also funny all the way through, ex uh, especially because the lyrics make no sense at all. Um, the chorus is quite easy to follow, because they basically only sing alcohol is free in English. And I also like how they mix like apparently Greek with with uh, English in the in the chorus. Mixing languages in songs is always nice, what I think, especially because it, this gives more power to the chorus and it's easy to remember. So everybody will sing alcohol, alcohol, alcohol is free. Um, I also like the instruments they've chosen, it's a really nice mix of them. I like the strong male voice of this uh, singer, all these singers, they're supposed to be many I believe, and it, it gives this little vibe of uh, something interesting. And I believe this could have a really good show on stage, uh, and at, at the very least a very hectic show. Then again, this song is quite messy, it has no real structure, you can't really call it like a, like a regular song. I also don't know if this is supposed to be a joke, because it doesn't look like Greece is taking this contest seriously, which they haven't done the past years, and it's actually quite understandable, considering in what situation they are right now. But, you know, overall, even though this is a really fun song, it's nice to listen to, even though it's a little weird. And that's why I'm gonna give this an 8. Next up, we have the wonderful small country of Israel, and the uh, song is called Rak Bishvilo. Um, it's sung in Hebrew, and it's presented to us by Moran Mazor. Please enjoy. <laughs> Israel presents us again with uh, one of these contests many strong majestic ballads. Um, it's really a strong ballad, and I, I do like strong ballads more than the soothing ballads. Well, Iceland is a little different from that, but... Um, and what I think is really great plus in this song is that they sing this in their own language, because singing in the own language is always nice, because that gives the contest a little bit more variation. Uh, I like the singer, uh, she uses uh, her voice very well, um, and uh, throughout the entire song, especially towards the end of the song. Uh, but, you know, overall this is just another boring ballad. Uh, not much happens in it, it just continues to say away all the world away. Uh, it doesn't, it, it grows quite nicely, but it could grow even more. Um, and it's also a little bit too classical for Israel. They've been doing these kind of ballads a lot, and I would like to see them try something else. Like, do they seriously only have ballad singers in the country, or 
like do don't don't they have any other music there at all? That's a little bit weird to think. But I believe that this would be good with a professional show on stage. Um and it could grow more. I mean it could help it to grow because it I th you know, into my ear it looks like it would try to grow, but it really can't grow too much. It stops somewhere there, right in the middle of the growing. If you understand what I mean. That's that's a little confusing. And that's why I would give this song a nice little seven. Next up we have another really eastern country, Armenia, uh, with, the con uh, with the song Lonely Planet, presented to us by Dorians. Please enjoy. is one more of those Save the World stories, and I like the story of the song, uh, although it is a cliché, but, uh, you know, Save the World stories are usually really cool in songs nowadays. Um, this singer has a quite a personal and cool voice, but at some point it gets a little annoying to listen to him, I just don't know why. And his English is quite terrible. I think it's the worst of all the Englishes you hear in this contest this year. Um, that takes down on the song a little bit to, when you have to listen to that English that is quite weird. Um, this is a quite a dull version of a regular pop ballad. Uh, it's just basic radio, po radio pop, but I like the nice guitar solo towards the end. That's like the best part of this song. Um, the ending of the song is completely destroyed by the way they done that. I don't know why they chose to do it like that, but it just completely destroyed otherwise quite a nice song. Uh, it doesn't sink into me, because something important of, its, uh, of it is missing, I don't know exactly what. But it does sink in with the mass, so it does, does blend in with all the other similar songs this year. Uh, and I really don't see any show that could work with this and make it better, so... For now, I just have to stick with regular 7. And on to the last song of this episode, we have Hungary and Kedvesham, which by the, way, by the way means darling, if you translate it into English. And it's presented to us by By Alex. Please enjoy. <laughs> I'm really happy about this song because it stands out very well as a different pop song and I like the beat and the background music of this, it just has that kind of a quite an energetic uh, happy tone into it. Um, the singer has a really soothing and personal voice. Uh, I don't know how that will work on stage because it's apparently it's it's mixed the voice, but I don't know how it will work on live. Uh, the melody is really personal. Uh, the chorus could be a little bit simpler and easier to understand. I mean, the only parts I really uh, like remember of the song is Ked Ked Beshem. <laughs> but you know, if the chorus would be a little simpler to learn, this would be a perfect song. Uh, but the otherwise the song is really catchy all the way, and it it, it is really different from what we usually hear in the Eurovision Song Contest. This reminds me quite a lot of German pop, actually, uh, like, you know, Die Prinzen and the other, like, German pop songs often sound a little bit like that, and I, I do like German pop songs, so that's why I think I like this song too. Uh, the only really bad thing with the song is it doesn't grow enough, I mean, it that stands pretty much still. It keeps on the same line, the same mood all the time. It would just give it a little bit more power and kick towards the end, and that would be a perfect song. But anyway, it's worth a 9. 
And that, folks, is what we have for this episode. We reviewed the five songs, and uh, just make sure you check out the previous episode right there, and you get to the next episode right there uh, to see more reviews of this year's Eurovision Song Contest. But that's all I have for now, so if you enjoyed, you can join the spectators by subscribing down below. A like is also much appreciated. Um, if you want to, you can join my Facebook and Blogger pages by uh, clicking on the links down below. And as usual, remember, stay strong and keep on spectating. Booyah!